regardless of what the rest of these guys would be, that NAND gate would still have an input of zero, so you would always have a high there. But if this was a plus five, now if A zero, let's say I've got inverters on these two right there. So if that's a zero and that's a zero, that's a one and a one, and I've got a plus five right there. When those two signals go through the inverters, they come out ones, everything's one there that's an active low. And what we're doing is we're signaling for the presence of 12, so eight and four. So that's an active low output. So basically just chip selects, they both have to be zero for the enable, uh, for this, uh, for this chip to be enabled to put an output. Basically, enabling allows it to have an output. Disabling, no output. OK, um, quick note, while I'm on the 74154, don't have to go into this right now into much detail, but we're going to go back into this later. But, uh, later. Think about uh, a multiplexer. Uh, what we talked about earlier is a multiplexer is basically it's can, uh, excuse me, demultiplexer, uh, takes something in from a serial line and breaks it up into a number of parallel uh, parallel lines there. Um, there's a trick in how you hook up the chip select one and two. Uh, you can actually make a demultiplexer where one of them is, well, we'll go into it when I get into uh, multiplexers, but think about this. That's your parallel output there. That's that's the bunch of data and you're switching data back and forth. So 74154 can also be used as a D multiplexer. D mux. As well as the 4 to 16 line decoder or the 1 of 16 decoder. Um while we're on the 74154, there is just like a quick uh just a quick application here. Just think about this. One, two, three, four. Let's say zero to a three, and let's say it is enabled in the fact that CS chip select one, chip select two, both those guys are coming and are zero, and one, two, three, four, five, six, sixteen. And you've got, um, just think about this here is pretend that's an address that's coming in, you know, and there's a bunch of peripheral devices out here your dvd player um disk drive uh printer scanner etc etc but only one of these guys can be activated at a time so that's what this guy does here is basically you put in an address for dvd player one two three four zeros that's an active low the rest are highs and these are inactivated and that guy is activated. Um, now we want to print something out. And so what you do is you just go 0010 and now that's an active high, or excuse me, that's a high. And then we want to activate the printer, that becomes a zero and everything else is deactivated because the printer is the only one that's getting the active low. Okay, so that's an application for a 74154. Activates only one peripheral, peripheral at a time because it's one of 16 decoder. Only one active, uh, active low output for all 16 outputs at a time. Okay, so let us go on to, oh, the BCD to decimal decoder. So BCD to decimal. Okay, you guys should remember what BCD is from ET121. We didn't get a lot of time to talk about it, but you guys are going to be using a lot of it. So, uh, BCD, remember, is binary coded decimal. Binary coded decimal. And what that is, is a four bit representation, four bit binary representation of each decimal digit. And it only goes from 0 to 9. So 0 to 9. And if you want a two-digit number, what you do is do the 4-bit representation of the first number, 4-bit representation of the second number. So 9, if I just wanted to write 9, it's still 1001. That's still 9. But if I wanted to write 10, it's not 1010. That's binary. Binary coded decimal is 
the 4-bit representation of 1 and the 4-bit representation of 0. So 0, 0, 0, 1, and four zeros. So what does the BCD to decimal decoding? Well, it's the 7442, 7442, BCD to decimal decoder. Um, it's also called a one in 10 decoder. And basically for every one combination of four bits coming in, only one active low output is gonna happen. Um, it's also called a four line to 10 line uh, decoder. So functional block of that one, four bits come in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, out, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, good. Um, so A0, A1, A2, A3. An active low, by the way, you probably have seen this in some of the uh, chip maps, it has a little bubble on there. So that's the outputs for zero to nine. And that's all it's doing. Uh, you know, what happens when it receives, um, let's just do an R9. One, zero, zero, whoops. One, the one's there, zero there, zero there, one there. What's gonna be the only thing that's low? All these guys are gonna be high, but there's a low on the nine pin, okay? That's all the 7442 is. Um, well, what happens if you um, go to the uh, lab and you're out of 7442s and your lab is calling for you to use the 7442? Well, why not just use the 74154, but just use the first 10? So zero through nine. So you can do the same thing. Um, just enable it and just use the first 10 outputs. Um, there's a point I was trying to make here and I can't read my notes. Oh, okay, yeah, I know what it is. Okay, because we're dealing with BCD, let's use this example of, it does get 1010, which we know is an invalid representation of uh, inside BCD, because that should be 10 in the uh, binary digits. Well, what's gonna happen, all outputs are gonna stay high because it is invalid representation of a code. So all high, it's BCD.